name of Almighty Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. As Muhammad, a peace be upon him, narrated, if anyone travels on a road in search of knowledge, Almighty Allah will cause him to travel one of the roads of paradise. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tariq Masood. Thank you very much for watching my videos and your wonderful support to make the channel a grand success. We are a family, a partner. Please share and subscribe our channel if you haven't done so far. We as a team can work together to convert challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories. These success stories can be monetized into value addition in the world by large. Thank you very much for your precious time. Okay, today I'm going to discuss my lecture number 37, Oil and Gas Productions. Exploration, production, upstream, midstream, refining, petrochemical, differentiated performance, enabling profit optimization process. Lecture number 37. Before my lecture, I used to read a Quranic verse. Kala Arabi Shirali Sadri Wa Ya Sarli Amri Wahlul Okdatam Melisani Yaf Kahu Kauli Allahumma Rabbi Zitin Ilma. Oh my Lord, open my chest and ease my task for me, and lose a knot from my tongue that they may understand my sayings. Allahumma rabbi zidni ilma, O Allah, advance me in my knowledge and true understanding. Okay, please send me your input feedback. I have provided my WhatsApp number and email address at the end of my presentation. Okay, oil and gas production. Oil and gas production, introduction. Facilities and process management systems, reservoir and wellhead management systems, upstream facilities management system, midstream facilities management systems, refining facilities, petrochemicals, utility systems, and unconventional conventional resources and environmental effects. Okay, what is the ultimate goal? Shaping the clean and sustainable global energy. What is my plan to deliver? more than 300 lakhs in the next couple of years. Okay. Gas production, the utility system lecture number 36. Uh, what we have planned today. First, we'll discuss flare and atmospheric ventilation information management systems, instrumentation air systems, HVAC, water systems, and chemical and additives. Okay. The key takeaway points, flaring and atmosphere ventilation, HVAC instrumentation system, water system, chemical and additives. Okay, my first slide, we're going to discuss flare and atmospheric ventilation. Okay, what we have plan to discuss today. First, we will discuss a spill of flaring and second, we will discuss a, a production testing, then relief of access pressure caused by process upset, then we'll discuss up depressurizations and uh, planned depressurization and ventilation from the equipment. Okay. The flaring subsystems include a flare, atmosphere ventilation and blowdowns. The purpose of the flare and vent system is to provide a safe discharge and disposal of gas and liquid resulting from what is the first way discussed, a spill off. Flare from the product stabilization system, oil, condensate, etc. and production testing that is part of the well testing and other equipment testing. So there is a there is a potential a leakage to the flare. Okay, number three, relief of access pressure. Relief of access pressure, as we have mentioned here, caused by a process upset conditions and a thermal expansion. And number four here is depressurization, either in response to an emergency situation or as a part of a normal procedures. And number four here, planned depressurization of subsea production, flow lines, and export pipelines. And last not least here, the venting from equipment operating close to atmospheric pressure. Okay. So pressure, slide number two. 
The systems are typically divided into a high pressure HP flare and a low pressure LP flare system. And number three is also LLP, low low pressure flaring system. The LP flare system is operated slightly above atmosphere pressures to prevent atmospheric gases such as oxygen flowing back into the vent and flare system and generating or combustible mixtures with low gas flow. Inert gas is injected at the flare nozzle to prevent air ingots. Okay, traditionally considerable amount of hydrocarbons have been more or less continuously flared. In these cases, a continuous burning pilot is used to ensure ignition of hydrocarbons in the flaring systems. Stronger environmental focus has eliminated continuous flaring and in many areas. Vapors and flare gas are normally recovered and only in the exceptional situation does flaring occurs. To avoid the pilot flame, an ignition system is used to ensure a safe ignition even when large volumes are discharged. One a painting solution is a ballistic ignition system which fires burning pillars into the flare gas flow. Okay, from the next level we'll discuss instrument air system. Okay, instrument air system. A large volume of compressed air is required for control of pneumatic belts and actuators, tools and purging of cabinets. It is produced by electrical driven screw compressor and further treated to be free of particles, oil and water contents. Okay, so HVAC system. The heat, ventilation and air conditioning system HVAC feeds up conditioned air to the equipment and accommodation rooms. Cooling and heating is achieved by water cooled or water steam heated heat exchanges. Heat may also be taken from gas turbine exhaust. In tropical and subtropical areas, the cooling is achieved by compressor refrigeration units. In tropical areas, gas turbines inlet air must be cooled to achieve a sufficient efficiency and performance. The HVAC system is usually delivered as one package and may also include air emissions cleaning or emission control same system, continuous emission monitoring system as well. Okay, some HVAC subsystems include first cooling, cooling medium refrigeration system, a freezing system, number two heating, heat medium systems and hot system etc. Okay. One function is to provide air to the equipment rooms that are skewed by a positive pressure. This prevent a potential influx of explosive gas in case of leak. Okay. Okay. Water system. First, we will discuss portable water. Okay. What portable water basically demonstrate? For a smaller installation, portable water can be brought in by supply vessels or tank trucks. For larger facilities, it is provided on a site by desalination of seawater, those in distillation or reverse filtering. Onshore portable water is provided by purifications of water from above or below groundwater. Okay, reverse filtering or osmosis requires a membrane driving a pressure of about 7000 kPa of a pressure of per 100 ppm part per million of solid dissolved in the water. For seawater with 3.5% and salt 2.5 MPA 350 PSE is required. Okay. Now, next is the seawater. Seawater is used extensively for cooling purpose. Cold water is provided to air compressor coolers, gas coolers, main generator, and HVAC system. In addition, seawater is used for the production of hypochlorite. So, and for the fire waters, Sea water is treated with hypochlorite to prevent microbiological growth in a process equipment and piping. Sea water is sometimes used for reservoir water injections. In this case, a deaerator is used to reduce oxygen content in water before injections. Oxygen can cause microbiological growth in the reservoir. The deaerator is designed to use a strip gas and vacuum system. Okay. Okay. Now we'll discuss a blast water. Blast system 
are found on drilling rigs, floating production ships, rigs and testing rigs, platform, TLP, etc. The object is to keep the platform levels at a certain depth under varying conditions such as mode of operation, satisfactory drilling movement, etc. Climate conditions, elevation of rig during a storm, amount of production in the storage tanks and to the adjust loading on TLP tensions members. The blasting is accomplished by means of blast tank, people and wells which are used in combination with position of measuring instrument and tension force meter TLP to achieve the desired blasting. If fresh water is produced, it can be used as, as a blast to avoid salt waters. Additionally, a blast water has become contaminated from oil water tanks. It must be cleaned before discharge at sea. Okay, this now we will discuss in next slide the chemical and additive. Okay, chemical and additives. A wide range of chemical additives are used in the main process. Some of these are marked in the process diagrams, if you can see. The cost of process chemicals additive is considerable. A typical example is antifoam, where uh, concentrations of about 150 ppm part per million is used. With a production of 40,000 barrels, about 2,000 liters or 500 gallons of antifoam can be utilized at the cost of 2 euro per liter or 10 dollar per gallon in bulk antifoam alone will cost some 4000 euro or 5000 dollars per day the most common chemicals and their uses we are going to discuss the first is the the scale inhibitors what it basically scale inhibitor okay scale inhibitor the well flow contains several different contaminants such as salt, chalk and traces of radioactive materials. As pressure and temperature change, these may precipitate and deposit in pipes, heat exchangers, wells and tanks. As a result, they may clog up or become stuck. The scale inhibitors prevent the contaminants from separating out a scale or sedimentation inhibitor is applied to wellhead and production equipment. So the second is emulsion breaker. Okay, what is the emulsion breaker here? Water and oil cannot mix to form a true solutions. However, a small drops of oil can disperse in water and a small water drops can disperse in oil. Such system are called the emulsion. Oil in water and water in oil respectively. The drops are held suspended by electrostatic emulsion and will form a distinct layer. Okay, distinct layer between the oil and water. Sand and particles are normally carried out by the water extracted in the water treatment. However, the emulsions can trap these particles and sink to the bottom as a sticky sludge that is difficult to remove during operation. Although the emulsion layers will eventually break down naturally, it takes a time, too much time, and emulsion breaker is added to prevent formations and promote a breakdown of the emulsion layers by causing the droplets to merge and grow. Okay, second is the antifoam. The, the solutions motions inside the separators are causes of foaming. This foam covers the fluid surface and prevent gas from escaping. Foam also reduces the gas space inside the separator and can pass the Demister and escape to gas outlet in the form of mist and liquid drops. An antifoam agent is introduced upstream of the separator to prevent or break down of foaming factors by reducing a liquid surface tension. Okay, my next is the polyelectrolyte. Okay, polyelectrolyte is added before the hydrocyclones and causes oil droplets to merge. This works by reducing a surface tension and water polarity. This is also called the fluctuations and a polyelectrolyte. Fluctuations allows emissions to reach a 40 ppm or less. Okay, the next is methanol or MEG, methanol or monoethylene glycol. Okay. 
MEG is injected in flow lines to prevent hydrate formations and prevent occlusions. Hydrates are crystalline compounds that form in water crystalline structures as a function of compositions, temperature and pressure. Hydrates appears and freeze to hydrate ice that may damage equipment and pipelines. For normal rises, hydrates form only when production stops and the temperature start to drop. Hydrate formations can be prevented by depressurizations, which adds to start up time or by methanol injection. On longer flow lines in a cold seawater or, or arctic climate change, hydrates may form under abnormal operating conditions and requires continuous methanol injections. In this case, the methanol can be separated and recycled. Hydrate predictions model software can be used to determine when there is a risk of hydrate formations and to reduce methanol injection or delay depressurizations. Okay, the next is TEG, triethylene glycol. It's used to dry gas. So, okay, the next is the hypochlorite. Okay, hypochlorite is added to seawater to prevent a growth of algae and bacteria. In the seawater heat exchanges, hypochlorite is produced by electrolysis of seawater to chlorine. In one variant, copper electrodes are used, which adds copper salts to the solution that improves effectiveness. Okay, then there is next is the biocides. Okay, biocides are also used to prevent a chemical that are added to prevent microbiological activity in oil production system, such as bacteria, fungus, or algae growth. Particularly problems arise from the growth of sulfate reducing the bacteria that produces hydrogen sulfide and cloth filters typically uses include a diesel tug and produced water after hydrocyclones to slip and blast tanks. Okay, next is the corrosion inhibitors. Corrosion inhibitor is injected in export pipeline and storage tanks. Exported oil can be highly corrosive leading to corrosion of the inside of the pipeline or tank the corrosion inhibitor protects by forming a thin film on a metal surface. Okay, last are drag reducers. Drag reducers to improve the flow in the pipeline. Fluid near the pipe tries to stay stationary while fluid in the center region of the pipeline is moving quickly. This large difference in the fluid causes a turbulent burst to the occurs in the buffer regions. The turbulent bursts propagate and form the turbulent eddies which cause a drag. Drag reducing polymers are long chains, ultra high molecular weight polymers from 1 to 10 million microns with the highly molecular weight polymers giving better drag reduction performance with only, only part per million levels in the pipeline fluid. Drag reducing polymers suppress the formation of turbulent burst in the in the buffer regions, the net result of using a drag reducer polymer in the turbulent flow is to decrease in frictional pressure drop in the pipeline by as much as 70%. This can be used to lower pressures or improve throughput as well. Okay, this was my last slide. Now we are going to conclude a today lecture. Okay, conclusion. What we discussed today, flare atmospheric ventilation formation management systems and uh, instrumentation air systems, HVAC systems, uh, water systems, and chemical and additives. Okay. Next topic, oil and gas production. We have planned we'll discuss telecom. So references, Qatar uh, Petroleum Doha Qatar, Oil and Gas Development Corporation Limited, Pakistan OGDC, World Energy Outlook, U.S. Geological Survey, U.S. Department of Energy, Shalom Burgess, Oilfield Glossary, International Energy Agency, 
Wikipedia, Oklahoma State Margins, Well Commission Pumpers Manual, State Oil Fact Sheets, Norsex Standard, The Story of Oil in the Pennsylvania, Air Liquid Gas Encyclopedia, Natural Gas from the Well to Burner Tip. Okay. Together, everyone achieve more. Please do not hesitate to send me your feedback. Commerce.mosul.dr at path.edu. You can also send me your feedback on WhatsApp. I have provided my WhatsApp number. Please stay at home, inspired and blessed. Thank you very much for your precious time.